what place do you think community reporting has in today's society? Well, Kev, it's really interesting that you should ask me that question because I'm just reading this book. Um, and this book is called What You Really Need to Know About the Internet From Gutenberg to Zuckerberg. Would this invention undermine the authority of the Catholic Church? Would it trigger a Protestant Reformation? Would it enable the rise of modern science? And would it change entirely the So today the we're not in Mans in Germany. We're in a street in the northern quarter of Manchester. And I'm going to be asking people that same set of get questions. Well, I just think a community slight twist. reporting's got a massive part to play in that. I mean, um, there's a lot of it can help influence decisions. It can put a lot of pressure. The public opinion is uh, out the there. The big worry for me at the moment is like it seems to be like the creation of what I call an underclass. You know, right. there's like a lot of people who can't get access to the internet. Yeah, oh, can't oh, afford definitely. A I mean, I think you only have to look at somewhere like uh, like the Arab Spring. Right. You know yeah. and what happened in the Middle East, and uh, you know I think a lot of changes have happened there. You know, governments have fallen. As a result of people yeah. using social media and, and kind of like uh, standing up to government, standing up to yeah. central power. But you know, I think there's all sorts of other ways reforms can happen. I think if people have a voice, they can actually influence and change things, change policies. So, yeah, I think community reporting is, is a really positive thing. Thank you ever so much. Have a nice day. You're on the streets of Manchester. I've been chatting to some nice people today, and what I think is, seems like history is repeating itself.